Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I am an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at Autodesk Navisworks Manage 2016 and the graphical user interface so we can get acclimated with the software. Here I have the software up and running. I have a model already open. <clears throat> it's an NWF file. The way the uh, graphical user interface is set up is very similar to all the, other that, all the other Autodesk products. You have the application menu here, which has a left and a right side. And as you hover your mouse over the left or the right hand side, the tools on the right hand side will show up. There are, um, for example, recent documents, and it lists all the files you had open recently, from the newest to the oldest. You can put the push pin down and keep that link there so it doesn't disappear. You can change how it's displayed. Um, you can start a new file. You can open, save, so on and so forth. You can get to the options of the Navisworks software by going to the options editor. <clears throat> and as you expand, you can get to all of these different features. So, for example, things like display units, um, okay, uh, the display, how things are set up. If you need to get out of Navisworks, you can click Exit Navisworks here, or hit this X over here. This is the Quick Access toolbar. It gives you quick access to common commands like starting a new file, opening, or appending, or merging saving, undo, redo, so on and so forth. Uh, if you have a command checked, then it is visible. If the command is unchecked, you don't see the uh, command. You have the information toolbar, which is just like the other information toolbars in AutoCAD and Revit and so on. You have a search field here. You can type whatever you want and hit enter. It takes you to wikihelp.autodesk.com. You can go to communication satellite, favorites, your account information, exchange apps, help. Expand it and you can get to About Navisworks Manage if you need to. And you can get to Product Info that gives you serial number, product key, things like that. You have the ribbon. The ribbon is set up with tabs. And inside the tabs are panels. Export scene, send, uh, camera, navigate. Inside the panels are commands. Append, refresh. Some commands are multi-command. Some commands are single commands. Some panels have a little black arrow to the right of the text which opens a sub-panel that you can pin down. And some panels have uh, a little arrow to the lower right-hand corner, like for the example here, that takes you to the options editor or style manager of that particular feature. <clears throat> um, you have your main view that you're working with here. All these panels that I have open, they're pinned down so they stay open like this. These are things like the selection tree, okay, uh, the sets, uh, rendering, clash detection, quick properties, properties, things like that. They're all right here. And I also have them set up to be docked to the left or the right side. And as you hover your mouse over it, the those panels or tools will pop out. One of the most uh, useful features in the software, especially when you're just learning how to use a software, are ways for you to save the viewport. Let's say, for example, I need to zoom in here to a particular location. And I like this view for some reason. I can capture this view by just right-clicking right over, over here under the Save Viewports panel. If you don't have that, go to the Viewports panel um, and click Save as well over here. If you go to the um, Home tab of the ribbon, just double-check to see that the commands that you want are open. Uh, we'll go over here, we'll right click and we'll save that viewport, call it whatever we want, say uh, 3D tree view. Done. Now I've also set up subfolders by the way for my views. So for example I can click this architectural 3D main, it takes me there, or the structural or the MEP. Okay? <clears throat> so it's a very fast and easy feature for you to work with and use. Um, to make saved views. And if you don't like it, you can always right-click it, update it, or delete it. 
One another powerful tool that uh, is available for you is to create sets. A set is basically a nothing but more than a collection of objects grouped together and called something. So for example, I have this tree selected. <clears throat> I can say select of the same name and all those trees get selected. Okay. If I want to, I can also say select name, same name. <clears throat> and it will find all the others. If I need to grab all the trees, I can just hold the um, control key down and pick the other trees that I may be missing for my set. Once I have everything selected, I can right click over here under sets and say save that selection and call it trees on site. Done. And that's how you create a set. So I can click any one of these sets, for example, wide flange columns, and it will go through the entire model and find all of those objects that I have placed under that selection set with that criteria either being by type or by name. Depending on what you have chosen to save as a selection set, um, it may take a while. So this was for structural usage. So if we switch to the 3D structural view, you can see the objects that have been saved as a selection set. Don't forget you have your selection tree here that expands when you're selecting objects to help you drill down and see what the objects you have selected and where they're located within that particular uh, file that has been placed into the Navisworks environment. <clears throat> uh, and that's it. That's a very quick tutorial on the graphical user interface of Navisworks Manage 2016. Thanks for watching my screencast, and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.